Mina, Konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here, coming at you with Psalm 58. And I'm just going to read the first part of verse 1. It says, Do you indeed speak righteousness, you silent ones? Now, I think David was just being funny here. I think this was just like a, a little a bit of a tongue-in-cheek thing. As it turns out he's not talking about righteous people at all. In fact, he's talking about the wicked. But it's so tongue-in-cheek. Do you indeed speak righteousness, you silent ones? Even if someone was righteous, and certainly actions do speak louder than words, I won't deny that, but if you're not saying anything, if you're remaining silent, then a lot of your righteousness that you want to get across does not get across. Actions do speak louder than words, and it is certainly important that we behave ourselves in a Christian way, those of us who are Christians. But if we don't speak out the name of Jesus, if we don't speak out the righteousness of God, if we don't speak out a godly opinion when an ungodly opinion is present, if we don't speak the word of God when something blatantly sinful is presented before us, how is our righteousness going to be known? How are we going to be known we may be known as Christians by our actions and via, you know, the way we behave ourselves, but are people going to know God's thoughts and God's opinion on it if we don't speak up? These are people who don't read the Bible, who don't pray, who don't try to hear God's voice, who don't go to church, you know, and hear a sermon every week or listen to Christian music and Christian songs with Bible-based themes. They're not thinking about God. They're not thinking about His ways. And if they know you're a Christian, they may have an inkling of what you think. They may think they know your opinion on something, but until you actually voice it, if you remain silent, the righteousness of God and even the faith that they need to be saved really isn't known to them. You've got to speak it. You've got to say it. I'm not trying to just do some name it, claim it, blab it, grab it, crap. I don't believe in that. Not at all. But people aren't mind readers. They're not. They're not going to know your exact opinion or God's exact word on the matter if you don't say it, if you don't enunciate it, if you don't clearly speak forth what it is that is right and what is true. Our actions definitely do speak louder than our words. And I will take godly actions over godly words any day, but the, the height of perfection, the pinnacle, the peak, that which we should aim for is a combination of not only righteous living, but also righteous thought and action. So if you are a silent one, speaking righteousness is quite literally impossible, and you're probably going to leave quite a muddied, muddled idea on those that are around you, even if you're not, even if you can't like defend it in some debate or anything, still speak forth what you know to be the Word of God. Speak forth what you believe to be righteousness. Um, that way, your righteousness won't just be that of a silent one. Um, guessed, inferred, it's likely, but they don't know exactly where you stand. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I love you, and God bless.